uh, well, they are coming in there, but they went into Carlton Bolling School there yesterday. Now, one Bradford MP, George Galloway, the respect MP for Bradford West, says this is causing tensions. And George Galloway's here now. Morning. Morning, you. You're furious about this, aren't you? Um, I'm absolutely furious. And uh, this, of course, uh, in the Times this morning, is merely a rehash of a story that uh, Andrew Gilligan ex of the BBC did in the Telegraph uh, some weeks ago, maybe three. Uh, so they're putting, uh, we say in Scotland, if you journalists often put a kilt on a story, i.e. make it Scottish so they can relaunch it. And this is merely putting uh, Yorkshire Tweed on uh, a story. There is no story in Bradford. There is no story for that matter, as I told you the last time we discussed this, about Islamic infiltration of schools in Birmingham either. Uh, the Ofsted report doesn't contain a single scintilla of evidence uh, of uh, Islamic uh, takeovers or hijacks or, 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 or extremism being uh, infiltrated into schools. Not a scintilla. I'll tell you what this is, Liz, and it's a very sad story. This is the Tory response to the UKIP electoral bubble. This is a dog whistle uh, to those inclined to vote UKIP. Hey, the Tories can do this kind of stuff better than they can. So if there is no problem, why are you saying that that's creating this non-problem, tensions in the community that you represent? What evidence have you got for that? What do you mean tension, anger? What, what does that mean? Well, the wall-to-wall -wall propaganda assault against Britain's two million Muslims, Britain's two million Muslims, and you are the British Broadcasting Corporation, you have a responsibility to all the people uh, who live here, uh, is becoming uh, deeply unsettling to people. Uh, it's always good to try and walk a mile in the other fellow's shoes, and I promise you that if your face screams out that your name is Abdul or Fatima, this is a very anxious time. Uh, what evidence? I mean, I, I understand the point that you're making, but you are... Well, the evidence from their own mouths, Liz. Uh, what I'm, are they telling uh, you? They're telling me that they're extremely upset and anxious about this propaganda on the BBC, on Sky, and in every newspaper, day after day, about whether or not boys and girls were kept apart on a school picnic. It's being described as if it were uh, some kind of war that we were about to uh, enter into. Perspective has been utterly and completely lost. And whose responsibility then is it to put that right? Clearly, I understand that the statements that you're making this morning, but if you have a school that is predominantly Muslim, or we could be talking about another faith school, we're not, we're not talking about that, but we could draw the parallel, that there are certain um, ways of going on, let's put it that way, which are acceptable to that community. Are they being misinterpreted then, you call, you call it propaganda, by others as being somehow sinister? Well, yes, it's sinister indeed. The only thing that matters to me about a school is how well it's producing its young people. And those young people in the schools that we're talking about in Birmingham, it's not the case in Bradford uh, necessarily, are doing fantastically well. We're talking about schools where girls are doing better than boys, where most of the prefects are girls, where girls' results are stunningly successful. That's what counts about a school. And I sent my own daughter, Liz, to a girls' school because I didn't want her during school hours talking to boys, being distracted by boys. And it's a very famous girls' school called Habit Dashers Asks. Many famous young women and older women went there. If anyone had told me that by doing so, I'd be marking myself out as a suspect of Al Qaeda, I never would have believed it. Isn't that what Ofsted, years ago. Ofsted moved into Carton Bolling yesterday? They're going back to Leicester They are supposed, are they not, to look at the academic achievement and other elements of education within those schools? And that's what's going on, isn't it? That you'd be happy that they're going in to validate what you're saying, that everything's fine. Well, they were there, of course, 12 months ago uh, in these schools and reported that everything was fine. 
we're asked to believe that some kind of Taliban offensive has taken place over the last 11 months, uh, which justifies the kind of parliamentary and, and press offensive that has been mounted over the last few days. Now, I can hear a band playing. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. The truth is, since the UKIP rise, which threatens the very existence of Michael Gove and Co's government, they've decided that they have to respond. And they've res responded by throwing the kitchen sink at a minority of Britain's citizens. That doesn't surprise me. That's what Tories do. Scorpions sting because they're scorpions. What is deeply lamentable is that the mass media goes with them, and especially in the case of the BBC, because all the people of Britain pay for it. Thank you, George Galloway, the Respect MP for Bradford West on breakfast this morning, 14 minutes past eight. Now, listening to that,